What magic is this? Images with transparency even in the glass? Today I'll show you how you can generate images with transparency using Stable Diffusion Forge UI. Go to the Extensions tab, then click on Install from URL. Since it's a new extension that they are still working on, it may not appear in the extensions list at the moment of recording. Therefore, you need to install it from this URL. The name of the extension is SD Forge Layer Diffusion. Click the Install button, and when it's ready, you'll see a message indicating that it's been installed along with the path where it was installed. If you encounter any issues, you can simply delete that folder from the extensions. Go to the Installed tab and press the Apply and Restart UI button. After the restart in the Text to Image tab, if you scroll down, you can find Layer Diffusion there. To enable it, just check the Enabled box. It's also available in Image to Image, but at the moment of this recording, it's not working yet. Let's give it a test to see what it can do. I'm using the Juggernaut XL Model version 9. For the prompt, I'll add a 3D fantasy shield. The sampling method is DPM++ Keras, but if it gives you problems with this extension, they said Euler A is more stable. For the size, I'll use 1024px, then I'll enable the layer diffusion extension and hit generate to get our first generation with a transparent background. The first time you use it, it will download the models it needs. In my case, it downloaded three models, but when I tried another option, it needed another model. However, that download got stuck somehow. If that happens to you, Here's how you can install those models manually. On this Hugging Face page, you can find all the models that the extension tried to download. You'll need these for different options, and some of them are quite big, so it might take some time to download them. You can download them using the down arrow download button and save them in the following location. Go to the Web UI folder, then Models, then Layer Model, and here you put all the downloaded models. Now let's continue from where we left off. After you have those models and all run correctly, it gives you two images, one with a square transparency grid behind it, which is for preview purposes and is not actually transparent, and the second one is the shield with a transparent background. Let's try another one to see what it can do. Depending on the prompt and seed, some results are pretty good, while others may still have errors. Let's try the second option. For this one, it uses another model from the list I showed you earlier called Conv Injection. I believe it might refer to Convolutional Injection. According to ChatGPT, Attention Injection integrates attention mechanisms for capturing long-range dependencies, while Convolutional Injection incorporates convolutional layers to capture local patterns in data but I have no idea what those mean since I am a designer and didn't need all those terms. From what I saw, the model is bigger for this one and I think I got better results with it. However, it's hard to compare since even if I use the same seed and prompt, changing from attention to convolutional injection changes the actual generation. Let's try a prompt for a fantasy blue bottle, a 3D render. What's cool about this is that we actually get a transparent bottle um, which a background remover cannot do. So I think that's pretty cool. I hope they can improve it further to work with all the options. I'll show you later where it has some problems. Let's change the prompt to a pink bottle and see what it generates. I'll open the bottle in Photoshop to confirm that the bottle is actually transparent, not just the background. I'll drag a shield behind and move it around to see which parts are transparent. You can generate you know, pretty much anything like robots or people. For people, it's nice that it gets a nice contour around the hair, which is pretty difficult to remove the background in other software. Let's try another option um, called From Foreground to Blending, and this will allow you to add an image uh, with a, a transparent background. For example, let's drag the robot that I just generated since it has a transparent background. Now for the prompt, um, you'll want to mention what should be in the background of that image you just dragged. For example, I can add a battlefield and some explosions. And now when you generate, you basically get the foreground, which is the robot in this case, with a new background each time. To show you the next option, I will temporarily disable the extension and generate a winter landscape quickly. Now I will choose from background to blending option and drag that winter landscape into layer diffusion. In the prompt, I'll mention what I want to... Uh, 
uh, appear in that scene like a snowman. When I hit generate, I get a snowman, but with no background because I forgot to enable the extension. Let's enable it and try again. Now, each time we generate, we get a different snowman on that background. They say that the extension is still in work, so it still has some errors. For example, when I generate an orange bottle at 1024 pixels, all works fine. But when I try different sizes, like 1200 pixels, I get an error. And you can find the error in the command window. Probably that's why it wasn't released on the extensions list yet. So you can wait until it gets a better version or just try how it is and use the things that do work. As soon as I change it back to 1024 pixels, it works how it should. Unfortunately, the high res fix doesn't work and this would be quite useful. It doesn't give me an error, but the generation is not how it should be, and the background is not completely transparent. You should also know that all currently released models are for SDXL. Models for SD version 1.5 may be provided later if demanded, as they say on their page. You can find more information. I will add the links I used in this video somewhere in the comments. Uh, they say it's a work in progress, and that for now, image to image doesn't work but probably in a week that will work too. You also have more examples and tests that you can try for different options. On their page, there's also a, a tab with issues where you can uh, report the problems so the developers are aware of them. I can answer questions about design, but I don't know much about code. I also want to thank you for your support. I finally got my channel monetized after more than a year of work. Leave a like if this video was helpful. Thank you and see you soon um, with a new video tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.